Hello, I'm Salma Meher. I'm a diabetes dietitian working in the NHS. And welcome to the five things you need to know when talking about diabetes. Talking about diabetes isn't always easy, but opening up can really help. Over time, as Pakistanis, we are becoming more open and honest in talking about our diabetes and how it affects us. This is partly because diabetes is so prevalent in our community that everyone knows someone in their own or another family or has a friend with the condition. People tell us that they end up talking about it as soon as they enter someone's house and are offered a cup of tea, saying no sugar and asking to get the sweeteners out. However, some people seem to think it's not serious or not worth discussing because everyone has diabetes these days. Many people are still unwilling to speak about their diabetes amongst family and friends because they are concerned it will somehow be seen as a weakness or that others will begin to feel sorry for them. If anything, diabetes only makes you more determined to look after your diet and lifestyle so you can lead a full an active life. But opening up and talking to people, explaining how diabetes affects your daily life, can help people around you understand what it's really like for you. Sharing the burden of your diabetes will help you feel less alone. It can take a weight off your mind and bring feelings of relief. Sometimes it can be hard to start talking. Maybe it's not just the right moment, or you don't want to talk about your health because there are other issues going on. Everyone's situation is different, but try to be honest. Talking to someone you trust and who will listen can help relieve the frustration of managing diabetes, particularly if you're having a bad day. Parents and family members can make good listeners. We know lots of people find it difficult to find the right time and place to start the conversation around diabetes. So be clear who you want to talk to and what you want to talk about. You don't have to talk to everyone about your diabetes. Only open up to those people who you are comfortable with and who you trust. Decide what you're happy to share and what you'd rather not discuss and stick to it. You can always share more in future conversations. Not everyone realises the amount of effort it takes to manage diabetes and how serious the condition is. So give your family or friends the time to take things in and come back to the conversation again at another time. If you're open and honest about your diabetes, this should create a better understanding between you and the person you're talking to. So most importantly, tell people how they can help. Would you like some help with those small changes into your diet? Perhaps it's the person who does the food shop or cooks the most nights. Is there someone you'd like to join you on that evening walk? You might even want someone to sit with you while you watch videos or reread an article you've read. Be open about what it is you need and you'll be surprised at how willing people are to help. There may be other people within your family and group of friends who don't know much about diabetes and you may get unwelcome comments like should you be eating that or even comments about your weight. This can be frustrating and hurtful. Try politely reminding them that it's your diabetes and you know how to look after yourself. And if things don't improve, remember you don't have to stay in the conversation. Remember to focus on the positive support that is around you and accept there will be some negativity and insensitivity from some due to their own lack of understanding. We've talked about the importance of talking honestly and openly to people who you can trust as it can help you think differently about your diabetes. Having the confidence to do this is based on having the right information to begin with. So the fourth thing that you need to know when talking about diabetes is listen to the experts. The moment you were diagnosed with diabetes, you gained access to experts who can offer the right information, support and advice. Your healthcare team. While it's vitally important that you attend all your appointments and monitor your diabetes so you can inform them of any changes, 
It makes sense to make sure you get the most out of every interaction. Don't forget that your appointments are meant to benefit you. A good quality conversation will focus on what you need and what you want to talk about. Many people find it helpful to plan ahead and write down everything they want to say and any questions they might have. If you struggle with some of the terminology, if English isn't your first language, you can take someone along as a second pair of eyes and ears. You can also request for an independent interpreter in your language from your healthcare team. And remember, your healthcare team aren't just there to do the standard checks. One in three people living with diabetes feel overwhelmed at some point and just need someone to listen. So be prepared to talk openly and honestly about what you need help and advice with. Family and friends and people you may know in the local community may also be a great support. However, some of the ways in which they manage their diabetes may not work for you because everyone's diabetes is different. So the best personalized medical advice you can get is from healthcare professionals. This brings us to the final thing you need to know when talking about diabetes. Diabetes UK can help in so many ways. Before we talk about any help that Diabetes UK can offer you, remember that we are the UK's leading charity here for everyone affected by diabetes. Any advice or information that we offer is information you can trust. When you engage with Diabetes UK, you know you are gaining access to clinically accurate, reliable and approved information. From our online videos and courses in Learning Zone to the Diabetes UK Helpline, which is run by trained advisors, with the option of requesting an interpreter to speak in your chosen language. There's also our online forum, which is full of people sharing experiences, knowledge and information about how to live well with diabetes. Whether you're used to using the online tools or not, Learning Zone is designed to replicate real life interactions as much as possible by learning as much about you as possible. That's the only way we can provide the simple, accurate, tailored advice you need to not only manage your diabetes, but feel comfortable and confident living with and talking about your condition. There are videos and interactive tools covering everything from eating well and moving more to your annual review, your emotional health, and even dedicated content for parents of children with diabetes and those that care for people living with the condition. And yes, there's information and advice specifically designed for people from the Pakistani community, including in Urdu. So why not give it a try? So those were the five things you need to know when talking about diabetes. One, opening up can really help. Two, be honest. Three, tell people how they can help. Four, listen to the experts and five diabetes uk can help